Tribune Gallio. You have been informed of the charges against you? I have, sir. You stand before the senators and nobles of Rome. They wait to hear your defense. It is true that I am a Christian. It is not true that those of us who follow the teachings of Jesus are engaged in any plot against the state. But isn't it a fact that you call this Jesus a king? Hmm? Yes, sir. Uh. But his kingdom is not of this world. He seeks no earthly throne. He reigns over the hearts and minds of men in the name of justice and charity. And are these virtues not to be found in our empire? Was it justice? Or was it charity that gave me my orders when I put him to death on the cross? You put him to death? Then why are you risking your life for him? I owe him more than my life. He forgave me my crime against him. Crime? Do you maintain that it's a crime for a Roman soldier to obey his orders? The empire is governed by men. Men sometimes make mistakes. And this, sire, was the greatest mistake ever made by Rome. So, the empire makes mistakes. And perhaps the emperor himself makes mistakes. Sire, it is I who am on trial here. Not you. What's that thing you're holding? His robe. He wore it to the cross. Let me see it. No. I remember. It's bewitched. No, sir. You! Take it! Destroy it! Sir, may I keep it? Sorcery, too. Did you think it would protect you here? No, sir. Tell me, Tribune, do you expect us to believe these stories that this Jesus could heal by the touch of his hand, make the crippled walk and the blind see again? It makes no difference whether you believe them or not, sir. All that matters is that there's no story that he ever made anyone blind. There's no story that he made anyone a cripple or ever raised his hand except to heal. Sire, if you'd had the chance I had to talk with those who knew him, to hear his words, to learn what was in his heart. Stop! Are you trying to convert me to your treason? I only want to show you your opportunity, sire. If the Empire desires peace and brotherhood among all men, then my king will be on the side of Rome and the Emperor. But if the Empire and the Emperor wish to pursue the course of aggression and slavery that have brought agony and terror and despair to the world, if there's nothing left for men to hope for but chains and hunger, then my king will march forward to right those wrongs. Not tomorrow, sire. Your majesty may not be so fortunate as to witness the establishment of his kingdom, but it will come. You have heard him? He stands convicted out of his own mouth. What is your pleasure? Get him. Slaves and parasites, how dare you speak of justice? He's not a traitor. You haven't proved that, and you never will. Then listen. You see that I am just. Listen. Tribune Gallio, you stand condemned to death, but it is our desire to be merciful. We give you a chance to recant your treason and go free. Kneel to us and renew your tribune's oath of loyalty to your emperor. Renounce your misguided allegiance to this dead Jew who dared to call himself a king. Pledge which I have never broken. And 
the other. Jesus, renounce him so all can hear. I cannot renounce him, sire, nor can you. He is my king and yours as well. He is the son of God. And that is your answer? Yes, sire. Tribunal Gladio, we decree that you be taken immediately to the palace archery field and put to death for high treason. No, there's no reason for it. Sire, Marcellus is my chosen husband. I asked to go with him. Stand back! You're not on trial. There's no evidence against you. Then if it please you, sire, I'll provide evidence. I have no wish to live another hour in an empire ruled by you. You dare to call yourself a Caesar. Once the Caesars of Rome were noble, but in you noble blood has turned to poison. You corrupt Rome with your spice and malice. Stop! Stop it! You should be Caesar. Vicious, treacherous, drunk with power, an evil, insane monster posing as emperor. Stop it! As for me, I have found another king. I want to go with my husband into his kingdom. Then by the gods you shall! Go! 